made it to Moab, finally. A little bit of day of traveling. Just met the trucks here at the airport. The poor trucks look like they went through a serious snowstorm. But we're gonna go run into town and uh, it's, it's a little chilly. Definitely uh, more than we asked for. It snowed this morning, so hopefully the weather clears up. But I, don't, I really don't know what today's plan is, so tag along. San Felipe to some snow. There's a lot of mountain bike stuffed in here. I knew the weather was gonna be bad coming up. I didn't realize it was gonna be this bad, but I was like, I need to put all the bikes inside. So this, this poor Ranger had like three bikes in it. So settled in town, put all our stuff away. Now we just had some pizza, which I don't eat cheese, so a little tough, but yeah, today we're just kind of settling in. We flew in, unloaded. Now we're gonna go to the grocery store and just relax a little before the, the real chaos. I heard someone was already talking about we're going on a ride at 5 a.m. tomorrow, which it's gonna be like five degrees, so you're gonna count me out, but I'll be there. It's a wrap, it's like 10 o'clock, finally got dinner. Uh, I'm just gonna crash now, hang out with some friends, and uh, sounds like we got a pretty big day tomorrow, so still don't have an exact answer, so I'll see you in the morning, and maybe we know by then. Okay guys, we got a little bit of fun happening right now. So there's this guy, Bill. He's a friend of ours. And yesterday, he uh, he lost his wallet. And uh, we <laughs> happened to find it. <laughs> and he's been a little panicked trying to find it. But yesterday, he called the police looking for his wallet. And they didn't answer or whatnot. But apparently they did answer, but Bill put his phone down and then proceeded to talk about how he hates the police <laughs> and how <laughs> Not how he hates the police, but how they suck at their job. Da, 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 da. The police proceeded to call him back on that number and uh, give him a nice lesson on that you shouldn't talk about the police like that. They also took down all his info. So now this is where we come in. We're going to claim the police found his wallet or someone turned in his wallet, but they're pissed off because of his conversation of where he was talking mad crap on the police yesterday on the phone. We're gonna trick him and act like, you know, the police are really mad at him and that he's gonna have to come in and talk to the judge and all this stuff, but we're gonna drag it out over the next couple of days. We got some people gonna call him right now. So it's gonna be, uh, stay tuned, it's gonna be pretty funny. Good morning, everyone. It is beautiful Wednesday. We are currently already out on the trail, kind of uh, just first thing this morning, kind of hung out. Now we're on the trail. We're gonna go meet up with uh, Vaughn Gittin Jr. and Lauren Healy. Um, they're out doing a trail with some Broncos, so we're gonna go meet them. We got the Unimog, my dad's got his Bronco, I'm in my Ranger, and we're just gonna have a little fun today. Today's just kind of laid back, do some more fire road kind of fun trails and see what we get into. <laughs> Four wheel, four low. Dude, so you gotta go for the sporty line. It's like leaking water. See that? There's like moss coming out. It must like, I think we need to camp here. Me and Bill are gonna camp here tonight. This is where we should leave the, the wallet. What's your favorite M&M? This has been like, we've been asking everyone this. Like type, cause you got like caramel. We got pretzel here. Um, See, there's, it's a, there's a lot of new shit. I'm kind of a classic guy, yeah. frozen. Peanut M and M's. See, peanut M and M's. Yeah, frozen. Though. All right, frozen. I don't yeah. know if I had. I like to eat them with a diet Pepsi. Green. Now you're ones. taking away from me because you didn't. I'm not a big M and M fan. Oh yeah, yeah, here, here. <laughs> this is a caramel one. Oh okay. Well, caramel. Big M &M's. You, you don't like M and M's? Uh, None. But if you had to pick you one, because there's like so many flavors now. There's like. I don't even know. There's I peanut like butter, the... pretzel, caramel. There's... Yeah, we have pretzel one if you want to try it. That's pretty interesting. I don't like them. I like it. Not it's a like sweet. a little, it's like a little sweet and salty. It's like a, yeah, I like that. I throw a caramel on top just to see okay. if it kind of tops it off. All right. Hmm. Wow, they're really changing it up. They're they're done being plain Janes. They're trying to. Our mouth's pretty good too. See, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not a big sugar guy. The peanuts still the classic in my opinion. What about you? Do you have an opinion? Nick. Nick? Easter egg M and M edition. Oh. Easter egg M and M edition. So we just met up with. Uh, Lauren Healy, Von Gittin Jr. And they're taking us on a trail. Um, there's this viral video of some guy falling off this cliff. We'll, we'll insert it in right, right now. Don't let anybody ruin your day. Ruin it yourself. 
Be a man. Um, so they're going to do this in a Bronco now, but they just took us down this trail and now it's like way too narrow and small for the Unimog because we got the Unimog. So now we're attempting to turn around on this like kind of sketchy hill, but looks like everyone's gotten turned around. Make sure you guys are ready to run. <laughs> yeah, boy. Seriously. So quiet. <laughs> I got it. Call that Bronco beat. You are amazing, bro. That was cake. That was boring. That was boring. We need we need we need to do it again. It's pretty steep. <laughs> Ready now. All right, let's do it. The thing is pretty six foot drop into a hole. Kind of sketchy. Horns a mad man. He ain't catching me doing this right now. Especially in a stock Bronco. Bone stock. Judge has responded that you can't have your wallet back. So anyway, so I'm on the phone with the sheriff, right? He didn't do anything, I lost my wallet. So anyway, he called me back three or four times. We talked back and forth. I got my, I got, I'll have all information here written down. I'll bring your wallet and I'll talk to the judge. I'll deal with the judge, but do the video. So the dispatcher, her uncle is the judge. Video and send it to me. I'm gonna send it to the sheriff. Well, that is gonna walk on in your here. record, like for, no, like no, a, no, like no. a like. No. Hey, Bill, you've gotten yourself in some trouble. I didn't do it. my wallet. <laughs> I wanna, I, I'm so I'm impressed. You lost your wallet, and then you lost your passport. I got them all back. Less than 24 hours later. But where's your wallet? Damn. And you. I didn't do anything. No! Do we drop F bombs? I mean, you might have. What's that like? <laughs> Something else, right? You could screw that up. William John Lloyd, I am so sorry for dropping F bombs and being disrespectful to your team and your entire program. I'm so sorry. Judge, it won't happen again. I'm sorry. Can we turn the music off? Need 10 seconds. You should stand next to me. Judge Welch, I'm so sorry that I disrespected your bench and your people. And I want to say I'm sorry to Deborah as well. That it will never happen again. And I appreciate the state of Utah and everything you guys do here. And I, I made a bad decision. So I'm so sorry. So please forgive me. I know that we haven't met, but I know your vibe Are we skipping a step? Cause I really don't mind It's like you've been in my bed a couple thousand times Now we're at it again of us, one of the, I, I don't know, I don't know how many there are now But last I talked to the engineers, there's only two Ford Raptor Broncos Following one of the green ones right now, pretty sweet It's super, that thing is wide You give me deja vu, this is feeling like a memory Your lips look so familiar and I don't know if this is real, just a liquor But this feeling is major It might sound a little strange cry I know that we haven't met, but I know your vibe Are we skipping a step? Cause I really don't mind It's like you've been in my bed a couple thousand times We made it to the top here uh, The Barrancos are starting to file in uh, We lost a few, but they're coming, they're coming But uh, pretty cool Kind of a little bumpy trail, uh, kind of through a little bit different terrain than we've seen a lot of Moab, so kind of cool. Up on a plateau, killer views, and now we're just going to hang out. I think let everyone get in, get a group photo, and then, I don't know, go socialize with some Bronco owners. All right, so it is literally freezing right now. I am dying. And this guy over here, t-shirt, like, how's his head not freezing, bro? It's casual. Look at this thing.
that I think is pretty wild. It's just instant. Like, it's so weird. Like, you're like, whoa, whoa. They're not in on it. Like, we just enlisted them right now. I'm gonna fuck with you. No way. Are you in on this? I ain't in on it. Fuck up. Not in, I swear to God. Hoodie off. Fuck with you. No way! Are you in on this? I ain't in on it. I'm what they call just a, no, just a casual casualty. Yeah, yeah, you got screwed in the SR for the inconvenience. Okay, so we're up here. What was the name of this again? Looking Glass Arch. Um, and look at it, it's pretty epic. We're talking about building a swing, which I never thought I'd do, especially coming to an off-road event. But yeah, we're gonna be here filming today, getting a little stuff. We got some, uh, we're gonna set up a little camp down there. Um, there's some climbers going up right now. The scene's pretty, uh... Camp, last year. It's like a quarter mile that way. We should have just drove. I'm like, oh, just go check out the stream crossing right there. Like, all right, sort of jogging. We going the right way? Be as far. There's a stream crossing. Dude, now, dude, the roles are reversed. I've become director slash filmer slash just out here. I was acting this morning. Now I'm directing and filming. Give me a raise. The battery is under the wheel. <laughs> I guess you don't need it. You don't really need it. Keep it real nice. Well, the problem is this one's fake. The real one, if you ran it over, I think it'd be fine probably. I got a real one in my truck. <laughs> We're out on the scene. Everyone has left. They have seemed to realize they forgot us. Can-Am's not starting. So now we are in another location. We've been doing a little bit of running around. So we, we finished filming with on another scene. Now we just want to grab some lunch. Picked up Tanner Faust. Um, we have his UTV just arriving. And then we're going to do with Jason again, who is in the rock buggy. And we're going to do a little bit of shooting here. I'm still in director mode, but then after this shot and a couple more UTV shots, we're gonna go do back to me being in the actor slash director, um, which is a rope swing, which I'm pretty stoked about the rope swing. But I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. This should be pretty good. Now we're just, I don't know. Today's been an adventure full day, um, and we're just figuring it out. We gotta be in a rush right now. Like we got Tanner. Like Tanner's just been sending it since he got here. So I'm like, to the next location. <laughs> All right, now we're back at it. Now we, where are the camera guys? Ripping Tanner, almost killing us in uh, UTVs. Phone flip. Yeah, you guys, uh, you don't mount. Honestly, you just can't, you just can't trust Chris Pulvardi to keep his battery charged, which is a shock because he's sponsored by Optima. And uh, just gotta save the guy all the time. Literally, I was in California. Here I am, roping a battery up a damn mountain. I think you brought me some box of tools a couple months ago. Did too. that? It's funny. And it's, you know, even the, even when the videos are made up and it's a creative, creative is, hey, how can Tanner save Chris's ass again? I don't know. <laughs> four. Yeah. I mean, I think it says a lot for the new technology, right? New I mean, technology, I. Technology, super light. You know, they caught him on fire. They shot a bullet through him. And now they're like, you know, you can fall off a rock and land on them and then they're still gonna start. That, that, that's, that's what the stun is that's, today. That's what's happening today. Today hey. Tanner is gonna climb to the top of this rock and jump and... Uh, it's Super Dave style. I like it. <laughs> is this the route? Sorry. Yeah. 
Man, it's on hiking shoes. This looks way harder than anything I've done in hiking shoes. I should have one. I got my shoes. Yeah, apparently. My I mean, I don't want to say this is a regular occurrence, but I mean, it's been at least eight times now I've saved Chris's ass. Look at this. Dragging a battery around. I mean, the GPS takes me one place. Chris is another place. I got to rappel down this freaking hole of doom into the looking glass areas through there. Dude, you are a lifesaver. Hey, that's the last time. I mean, can Victor. I get a, can I get a ride? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, I'll see you at your truck. Oh, we'll see you there. That's a good improv. Whatever. Is that you call. solid improv? Yeah. <laughs> is that good improv? Okay. <laughs> Climbing is, is an awesome thing that I that I miss. I mean, I don't have any kind of experience like these guys do, but it, it's um from that those good ten years there was climbing regularly multiple times a week. So basically you're just gonna and, kind of follow uh, that boulder field out. It's not just like hand fitness and, and physical like right fitness, it's like mental food. fitness on how Carol not to sweat. Guide you like how not to get nervous. To keep where the edge kind of fades grip, away, essentially, kind of step off which the chalk can only do so much. Pull you tight and I love that mental battle. Like it's the same with driving, off. honestly. Okay. It's the same I with racing cars. Is the mental yeah, battle exactly. between not letting okay. yourself have any adrenaline kick in, just so you can have good technique. But <clears throat> that was awesome. Okay. Three, two. Woo! <laughs> That's <pretty> good. <laughs> So sick. It's just casual. Start Thank you. She took the paddle and beat me in the head. <laughs> and, <laughs> any final words? My hands are not making any shots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Don't drop the phone. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think? That was crazy. It felt way better than it looks. <laughs> no, I'm just glad you went first. <laughs> All right, finally wrapping up filming. It's 9.01 p.m. Um, yeah, long day. We've been going since, I don't know, eight something this morning. Just got a nice shot. Uh, now we're about 20 minutes from the, the condo, so we're gonna go hit the condo. Rumor has it they have some tri-tip. And then I think it's just got a little hangout, so it should be a little fun, relax after this long, eventful day. Uh, we're gonna go for a mountain bike ride um, up in some river canyon. Not really sure. Uh, I said it's black diamond though, so we're gonna be getting wild. Uh, pretty excited. I haven't ridden my mountain bike in a little, so excited to get back on the intense cycles. Yeah, I was sick. Oh. Leaned on the brakes. Oh. Yeah, I was leading it and I was just like came around a couple of corners and like, I'm focused on your tire, and I'm not looking at anything else. You're hoping I don't ride yeah. off the cliff? <laughs> if you ride off the cliff, I'll go straight down here. Dude, that was sick. There was some sweet stuff, but then we got next to those cliffs, and I was just like, oh, God. Oh. There we go. Big cliff. Like, 
sharp left. Yes. So we came in straight. You're done. Like, man, if I catch a pedal right now, it's game over. You like this trail? We're not going there again. <laughs> <laughs> And then there was one point it was like it was like you could you had no option to look, but to look down and you're just like hmm. you can't you can't turn around no you're not gonna turn around you're just gonna go and cry <laughs> and I was crying around <laughs> <laughs> off camber right yeah big left sweeper and it was just cliff on the right cliff straight <laughs> and slick Your rock pedals like. <laughs> Mark this on the location as never come. Aren't you bummed we didn't take the double black? This was only the black. Stop it. Yeah, that other. That's what it said on the on my app. It said this was a black, and then it said that uh that one where my dad was pointing was a double black. I guarantee you that corner was a double black. Somebody. There's a harder one. Yeah, well, like, you know where we dropped and went to the scenic loop? If we kept going straight, it said that was a double black. Sketchy guy. Yeah, I went for the left line. Doesn't work. Well, that's a wrap, Moab 2022. Uh, tons of fun up in Moab with the Optima Batteries crew. It's always fun taking the Ranger out, but uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you guys like this. I'm gonna be posting a lot more on my YouTube channel, so subscribe and I'll see you next time.